Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Excel tutorial, we are going to learn how to use nested functions in Excel. Now, many times you would be required to combine multiple functions that are within Excel to get the desired outcome. Say, for example, here, as we have seen that this is some of the data which is not formatted properly which is having lots of spaces in between right so we have already understood that you can use trim function to trim all the spaces extra spaces that are there between between the words and get the desired outcome without the spaces now say for example with the trim function i also want to make sure that all of this text that is there is converted to uppercase or converted to lowercase or to proper case right so can i do it one by one or can i combine trim and uppercase formula or lowercase formula together to get the desired outcome now if we do it one by one so we'll first trim all the spaces and then we'll use the upper formula to convert it to the uppercase right so say for example we do the first way which is one by one right so we'll trim all the text here right so for example in this cell we have trimmed it now here we will change it to the uppercase right so we'll say upper and then change this text to uppercase right let me format it in the same format so it is so you'll see now this these there have been two steps now is it possible to combine both of these formulas and get one single output combining both the formula so answer is absolutely yes and it will be pretty easy as well so we can simply say trim and as we know that trim accepts the text right so this text can be provided by another formula right or we can also start with upper and then trim it right so we can say now within this we can also start writing upper so it will accept another formula within it and then provide the text right so now we just simply close this bracket so now you'll see that the inner bracket is red and to close it again we need to add another one right so now you'll see the outer bracket has been closed as well so what this formula trim is doing so this upper formula will first convert all this text into upper and then the trim will then convert the returned upper text which will have the spaces there and trim all the spaces right so if we and hit enter you will see it has changed accordingly right it has done both the steps into single chart right we can also do this way so we can use upper first right so and then within the trim right or we can use trim first basically so we'll use trim to first trim the spaces and then convert it into the uppercase right so either ways it is possible right so this is how you are going to combine the formulas now another example is if say for example there is there are two data sets right and i want to get the sum of the highest value out of these two data sets okay so sum of the highest value so highest value here in data set is 7777 and highest value here is 76767 right so with this particular approach we want to get the sum of the highest value so we'll start with the sum function there right and then to get the highest value in first data set we know that there is a max function which it returns the largest value in the set of values right so we'll use the max and then select the values from which we want to calculate the max right and then we know the sum accepts multiple arguments there right so comma separated so this max will return the max value of these three values right and then we also need uh, sorry let me move this a little bit here so here in the second case we will get the max by using another max function and in this we want the max of this range right the data set 2 and now close the bracket and hit enter and you will get the sum of the maximum value from the data set 1 and data set 2 right so if you see this is pretty simple and straightforward to combine multiple formulas within excel and get the desired outcome so 
we'll cover a lot more detail in this particular in the next section which will be how to use if conditions etc and there we'll learn a lot more detail about the combination of data or combination of functions within excel and how you can use multiple functions and combination of functions within excel to get the desired outcome so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching